Welcome back heroes to some more Detective Pikachu Returns. Last episode, Pikachu got arrested. So did a bunch of other Pokemon that did absolutely nothing wrong. So we're gonna try and solve the case, prove in Pikachu's innocence and get all these Pokemon freed. So we're gonna head to the guard room because we've got a code that should open these doors. So let's head over there and enter this passcode. Come on, Lightbird. You got this? No, no, no. Saw that. Hey. So this should be the room Luxury was talking about. They must control the detainment rooms from here. So where's the machine he mentioned? Obviously just right here, obviously. <laughs> mm -hmm. This ought to be the machine that can unlock all the doors to our rooms. Just like I thought. It's set up to open the doors when a numeric passcode is entered. I'll try the number from the note Gridden gave me. Which was 2168. Nice. Perfect. Yes, what like a charm. That should have opened the doors. Long as I'm here, I ought to look around and see what info I can dig up about this building. I'm liking the music here. Alright. Uh, oh. Looks like a floor plan of the police station. Seems to be made for the public, but that's okay. This will make it easier to explore the station. Let's see. I'm in the basement level of the building. There are two stories up above, and that's where the human officers are located. I think I'll borrow this map for a while. Hey. Now to hightail it back to the entertainment rooms before any cops show up. <laughs> Guess what? I unlocked the doors. Now we can explore the rest of the police station. Well done. I was right to join forces with you. Finally giving me my due credit, eh? Then let's get investigating. Yes, let's. You can ride on my back. Luxray, let's do this. <laughs> <laughs> Come on! Can't someone give me a little help? Oh, not like that! Oh. Let's go, Luxray! So, where shall we inspect first? I'd like to hear what your plan is. Well, if we're looking at the station investigation, let's start with the first floor. According to the floor plan, we can find a reference room there. The first floor, very well. Alright, Luxray, let's go. Alright, so we can open the door. Let's open everyone else's door, which is... <laughs> it's a prison break! Let's go! How do I use your ability? open all the doors <laughs> just in case oh they close again sad be careful Pikachu there seems to be a human inside that room there weren't any people there when I was in that room earlier must just come back you need to be very careful going forward then the last thing we want is for them to notice us so if you're near something a luxury can see through uh, such as a wall see through objects will display press the R button at this time to see through walls and other objects See into the room so you can sneak by the police officers when they aren't looking. If they catch you, you'll have to start over. Okay. Right. Okay, go, go, go. Not too bad, not too bad. Now, which room do you want to go to? Just a second, I'm checking the floor plan. First up, the reference room, which we're close to now. After that, let's head to the meeting room right next to it. Looks like there's a really big room in the back too. There are a lot of humans in that room. In that case, we should probably leave that one for later. Then let's begin with the nearby room and the one next to it. Yeah, it's all up to you, Luxray. Okay. Right. And you're watching there. Turn back, okay. So we're gonna go into one of these rooms first. Oh, okay, go, go, go. So look, 
It's a photo from when the Slowpoke statue was damaged. And that's clearly you in it. Oh, we were controlled. Except it isn't me. So what's going on with this photo? I'm gonna hold on to this. I'm gonna look into it with Tim. Okay, what else? Hey, yeah, this is a manual for those cube-shaped devices they stuck on us. What devices? Haven't you seen them stuck to everyone's necks or backs? There's one on you too, Luxray. Let's see. The manual explains how to attach one to a Pokemon. Is that all? Yeah, that's it. Doesn't explain what these things actually are at all. Well, they've got tons of manuals here. I don't think anyone will notice if I just take one. Okay. Okay, I think that's all we need to see in this room. Then let's move on to another. Okay. Make sure no one's in here, right? Yeah, okay, we're good, we're good. We can go in here. Wait, what? Hey, Luxray. I swear, we'll get out of here. Oh. Okay. Was he actually in here? No, no one's in here. So let's go. Oh! The moment I open the door, he comes in. That's what it was. I swear, we'll get out of here. That's just very bad timing. Okay, so we're not going in there. So let's go all the way across. We wait. So yeah, you're there. Wait for you to. Okay, go, go, go. What we got? Mm -hmm. It's a list of the incidents that were supposedly caused by the Pokemon being detained here. Stuff like stealing people's food, destroying a flower display at the florist. My name's on here too. Property damage at Fountain Plaza. This whole list is nothing but a load of malarkey. I know I didn't do this, and the others all said they didn't do these things either. Oh, here's your name, Luxray. Says you and Mighty Anna were running amok just off 2nd Avenue. What really went down that day? I don't think this is the place for a long conversation, do you? Now's not the time, huh? Guess I'll ask in later. Wait, what the? There's a Ditto on the list. Didn't see any Ditto in the detainment rooms, did you? No, never seen one here. Hmm, guess it was brought here before us. Maybe it already got released. Okay, it's a list of Pokemon that are wanted by the PBB. But look at how many there are. Do they really intend to detain all these Pokemon? Does this many even fit in the station? Is Mariana's name on the list? Yeah, it says Mariana right here. I see. So how do you and Yenna know each other anyway? That would take too long to explain. Really? Then we can circle back to that later. So, poster of uh, <laughs> the chief. What the heck is this? A poster celebrating Butler's promotion to chief? This has been a year since Butler got put in charge. Can't say he's got much taste. Pat himself on the back with stuff like this. Okay. Okay, I think that's all we need to, to see in this room. Well, we did a lot of investigating, but we still haven't found anything to prove my innocence. And we learned a little more, but not enough to help us get out of this place. We'd like to keep exploring other areas too, but if we go somewhere with too many humans, we'll get spotted. Yeah, I know that, but I'm really curious about Butler. Somehow, I need to get a good look around the Chief's office up above us. Then let's go. Where is this room you're, you're after? According to the floor plan, it's on the second floor. Let's go, but be careful. Okay, gotta be very, very careful. Hey. The chief's office is on this floor. Just past the turn down this hallway. Understood. Oh. Wait, we can't pass here? It's a human standing guard. What? But the chief's office is right in front of us. I really want to investigate that room, but I guess that's not going to be easy. Should we turn back? Hmm. I know. Can you see through uh, ceilings and stuff too? Of course, but what of it? You can see the rooms below you from the roof, right? Ah, I see what you're getting at. Quite the underhanded scheme there. Call it a clever scheme at least. Anyway, now that we've got a plan, let's head up to the roof. Okay. It's banging music for the uh, exploring. Yeah. Okay, we made it to the roof. And lucky for us, there's no one else here. I can't see all the way from here. I need to get a little closer to the roof, to the room. Okay, let's stand directly above it. I think it was near the center of the building. Be able to see through the chief's office from here, right? Yes, I'll take a look. Scope it out, Luxray. Uh, 
not even doing his work, huh? Do you see anything suspicious? Hey. Ah, that means I can sneak in through there. For a Pokemon, maybe? Uh, except, I've never seen Butler with a Pokemon. Huh, could be a safe. Yeah. The safe in particular seems really suspicious. There's got to be something in there. Even my eyes can't see inside that box very clearly. Guess I've got to go see it for myself then. But there's a human in front of the room. Yeah, he looks like he's standing guard. I don't think we can just uh, wait till he leaves. And there's only one option. I've got to go through that duct. Like you did in the uh, detainment rooms? Yeah, I doubt the office duct is connected to the basement duct system, but I should be able to reach it from the ducts on the first floor. I can't fit in those ducts. Are you sure you're ready to go on your own? So, what, you think I'm gonna slip up? Remember, I'm the great detective Pikachu. Huh, <laughs> indeed. Either way, I can't go now because Butler's in there. Let's head back to the detainment rooms for now. Yes, that sounds wise. Yeah. Whew, at least we made it back safely. Yeah, how'd it go? Can we get out of here soon? No, this will take some time. Isn't that right, Pikachu? Yeah, but we'll get, we'll get you all out of here, trust me. Just hang in there a little longer. We still need proof that we're innocent, but I think we need to leave that to Tim. Who is Tim? A human? Yeah, he's my partner. And a detective too. Well, a rookie detective. He's a detective? Yeah, and you might not believe this, but he and I actually uh, talk to and understand each other. Ah, oh, stop lying. There's no way that's true. Pikachu, can you get in touch with this human? Well, he visited me yesterday and I'm sure he'll be back again today. Then I have a favor to ask. Will you ask him to check up on the mighty Yenna in the city? Report on how he's doing. Sure, I can do that. But why are you interested in some Mighty Yenna? Luxray had a fight with Mighty Yenna right before he was thrown in here. During their squabble, Mighty Yenna was injured and Luxray has been worried about him. Wow, I didn't realize you cared so much about your friends. Keep your thoughts to yourself. Easy, easy. I'll be sure to pass your message on to Tim during our next visit. Thanks. Thanks from me as well, Pikachu. Mighty Yenna should be near 2nd Avenue. Got it. I'll pass that on to Tim too. I wonder what Tim's up to now. So there might be another Pikachu somewhere in Rhyme City. If that's true, it must be the one that damaged the Slowpoke statue. Need to hurry and find it so I can uncover the truth. Tim! Rachel! What's wrong? What do you mean, what's wrong? Is it true that Pikachu got arrested? <laughs> oh, were you worried about us, Rachel? Of course I was, and how's Pikachu? The PBB is detaining him. They said he's the lead suspect in a property damage incident. You're kidding, right? They must be mistaken. Only by the perpetrator. The PBB claimed to have photographic evidence of the crime. But I know it wasn't my partner, Pikachu. So I thought maybe there's another Pikachu in the city. And that's the one they should be after. That makes sense. I can't imagine your Pikachu doing anything bad like that. And on that note, where should we investigate first? Huh? You're coming with me? I mean, I'd appreciate the help, but... Oh, don't be so shy. If a friend's in trouble, I want to do whatever I can to help. And since you and Pikachu are my friends, it's only natural that I help, yeah? Thanks, Rachel. It really makes me feel better to hear that. Well, uh, let's start at Fountain Plaza, where the incident took place. Okay. Or not? Oh, it's a Delcaddy now. Uh, yo. Okay. Carefree City Kitty. <laughs> so I feel like every new Pokemon we're gonna see as Tim will end up seeing in the um the police station after. Oh, we got Lily again now. Lily. Oh, that flower's so pretty and it smells nice too. Yeah, we're after a Ditto, hundred percent. I thought it might be a Ditto at first, but then obviously when we saw the Pikachu saw the list of Pokemon Ditto was there, it kind of confirms it. Huh? There's Brad again. Is he a detective? He's checking out the cart. I wonder if he found something. So Brad was looking around in Fountain Plaza yesterday too. What in the world is he up to? He might be looking for more evidence of that case Pikachu's mixed up in. Yeah. Maybe there's still something here. Let's go see for ourselves. Okay, so we got. All right. 
stuff on the floor like muffins? So we're looking for evidence left by the culprit, which is another Pikachu, right? But how would it be any different from evidence that your Pikachu could have left? I'm not sure. We won't figure out anything if we don't look. Good point. We can't afford to overlook anything. All right. So let's check for any clues that could lead us to the Pikachu that caused this mess. Got a note. Oh. Some paper on the ground shows a crumbled off piece of paper. I doubt it's got anything to do with the case. Oh. It's a bus ticket. Hide out a Pokemon and rode the bus by itself. I mean, it could. It would be fun if, it, if one did, though. <laughs> I bet it'd be a wild ride. Exactly. And we got some cupcakes. Oh. Some food on the ground. Maybe it's some of the food sold at the stall. Okay. And is that everything? Got footprints. Oh. Look at these uh, Pokemon tracks. They're pretty big. Um, these definitely weren't made by Pikachu's paws. Anything else you can tell from them, Tim? It looks like this Pokemon was headed toward the main street. Big footprints. And you got little footprints as well. Oh. Here are some Pokemon tracks. I can't say for sure if these were made by a Pikachu, but the size looks about right. The trail head towards the back of the plaza, but it ends abruptly before it gets to Second Avenue. I wonder why. All right. Nothing more to see here. Okay. Let's think. So what do we got? Mm -hmm. So where did the Pikachu go? It has to be down in the middle. Second Avenue. Okay. These little footprints are about the right size. They could belong to another Pikachu. Yes, they must. If you follow the direction they're facing, it looks like they lead into the alley that goes to Second Avenue. Maybe someone on Second Avenue saw the other Pikachu. Let's go check it out. Could have easily done this just by following Brad. <laughs> Okay, so there might be someone on 2nd Avenue who saw the other Pikachu. Let's go there then. Um, this is the way to 2nd Avenue. Yeah, I hope we find someone who saw the Pikachu. Alright, 2nd Avenue, here we come. This place looks kind of cool. Oh, I see the, uh, the quiz professor. Mm -hmm. Well, here we are, 2nd Avenue. The police station is just to the left of the parking lot, full of police cars. And if we head towards the police station from here, that takes us back to uh, the street the Hi-Hat Cafe is on. I don't see any more footprints from the Pokemon, so they just disappeared. We need to question people for more information from here on out. Let's try to find someone who's seen the Pikachu. Hey. Let's ask that person if she's seen Pikachu. I was going to do that, but okay. Excuse me. Uh, do you have a moment to talk? What about? Uh, did you happen to see a Pikachu two nights ago? The evening the Slowpoke statue in Fountain Plaza was damaged? No, I didn't. I assume it was detained by the PBB? The police detained a Pikachu, yes, but we're looking for a different one. Oh, really? Sorry, I didn't see any Pikachu. Thanks. That's important information. Okay, about the detained Pokemon. Have you witnessed any of the recent Pokemon detainments? No, I haven't seen them myself. But it does seem as if more and more Pokemon are being detained lately. Yeah, it feels like there aren't nearly as many Pokemon out and about in the city. That may be related to the incident with Pikachu. Hmm. So it sounds like an awful lot of Pokemon here in Rhyme City are being detained, doesn't it? Yeah, even if something's going on with the detained Pokemon, this all seems way too sudden. This may have something to do with the other Pikachu, so we ought to look into it. Sure, but how should we do that? The partners of the detained Pokemon might know something. Good point. Alright, let's go look for their partners. Alright, sounds good. Ooh, got some Spiro. Hey, yo. This place has the best burgers. I could eat here five times a day and never get sick of them. Five times a day? That might be going a bit overboard. So that Excuse Pikachu. Do you happen to see a Pikachu two nights ago, the evening the Slowpoke statue in Fountain Plaza was damaged? Nope, sure didn't. I was here that night, though. But judging from the tracks the Pikachu were looking for must have walked down this road. So where could it have gone? Have you witnessed any of the recent Pokemon detainments? I haven't actually seen any, but I'm certainly heard rumors. People saying the police were here buying stuff. Um, I sure don't like all this trouble in the city. It makes it so hard to just relax and eat. Don't want to interrupt this guy's burgers, do we? Got a licky licky. Oh, I just can't believe it. Impidimp. Excuse me. What's wrong? Apparently my partner Impidimp got himself into a whole heap of trouble. 
Ain't but him alone for pulling pranks, aren't they? Can't argue with that. Maybe this was a prank gone too far. Do you mind sharing some details with us? So what happened exactly? The Pokemon Protection Bureau took my partner Impidimp away. It happened so suddenly I was completely blindsided. I'm practically still in shock. Did one of Impidimp's pranks cause too much trouble for someone? Good guess. That's just what the PBB said. But somehow I just can't believe it. Okay, about Pikachu. Excuse me. Did you happen to see a Pikachu two nights ago? That even the Slowpoke statue in Fountain Plaza was damaged? No, I'm afraid not. So we're trying to track down whoever broke that Slowpoke statue. Oh, you're a detective. Hope you find the culprit. About the detained Pokemon. What kind of trouble did Impidimp supposedly cause? They say my silly little Impidimp stole someone's valuables. Oh. And then it happened right here, in front of this burger joint. Supposedly, a security camera recorded the whole thing. And they've got a clear image of Impidimp. I just can't believe it. Despite all appearances, Impidimp's really a good little fella. He likes shiny things, so yeah, sometimes he'll bring me stuff he finds on the ground. But only things that are just lying there. He doesn't steal from people. Hmm. I'd really like to believe you. I guess I can see why you doubt me. Poor Impidimp. I wonder if Impidimp really is guilty, though. I'd like to ex uh, examine the scene for a moment. Mm -hmm. The incident that Impidimp is accused of happened right in front of the burger shop. Let's look for some evidence. Okay. This is where Impidimp reportedly stole someone's valuables. There might still be uh, some clues around. All right. Okay, let's see what we can see. Oh. There's a coin. There's a really shiny coin on the ground. Okay, did this get dropped here during the incident with Impidimp? If so, that'd be a little strange. Yeah, we did hear that Impidimp loves shiny things. Exactly. Impidimp would have picked this coin up. So, then why is this coin here? All right. So it looks like we've checked everything of note here. Well, it was like two nights ago, right? So maybe someone else dropped it recently? Okay, so what else can we do? Oh, there's a lit over there. But let's uh, talk to you first. Hello, detective. Um, I think I've met you before somewhere, right? Come on, of course you have. It's me, the quiz professor, remember? Oh, but where are you? where's your Pikachu? Isn't he usually with you? Pikachu's got something else going on today, so um, am I getting quizzed again? Why not? It'll be a good change of pace, and I'll help too. Oh my, is this your girlfriend? Then please, by all means, you two can work on this quiz together. And now for Pokemon quiz question number one. What aromatic Pokemon has a beautiful flower blooming on its head? A flower on its head? I feel like I've uh, seen that before. Yeah, do you think it'd be somewhere with lots of flowers? Let me know when you found it. So that is definitely Lilligan, right? So what's down here? That's uh, the end of the path. We got a Litten and... Uh, oh, what's it called again? Not Meowstick. Parugly. Perlo not Perloin. Hey, we got Phalanx, my boys are back! Oh, I love Phalanx are in the game. Oh, why can't I think of the, the Pokemon? It goes in the Perugly. It's not Perloin. Is it? No. What is it? I cannot think of it for the life of me, but... Oh, it's a Lilligan. It's got a beautiful flower and a really nice aroma. Tim, let's report to the quiz professor. The answer's got to be Lilligan. Alright, sure, let's go. It's not Meowstick, because that's... Oh, dude, I'm... I don't know why I'm blanking. I know it. As soon as I, I, I talk to when I find out its name, I'm going to kick myself, going, how can I not remember, but... on the tip of my tongue. I feel like it is Meowstick. No, it can't be. But, because Meowstick's the, um... Yeah, but uh, I think you got the answer, Detective. All right. Yeah, this was an easy one. The answer is Lilligan. Okay. Bingo! That didn't seem like a challenge for you at all. As you can see, Lilligan can make a beautiful flower bloom on its head. But it requires constant attention. If you don't take proper care of the uh, garland, it's, it'll wither away. And also, essential oils are made from Lilligan's flowers that sell for unbelievable prices. Well, I've already uh, seen a Lilligan before, so the answer just kind of sprung to mind. Well, sounds like this was uh, smooth sailing for you then. Now into question number two. What Pokemon has fluffy fur around its neck, loves to stay clean, and lives as it pleases? Hmm, I'm imagining a luxurious, pampered Pokemon. Uh, but what kind? We've got a hint about fluff around its neck, but nothing on where to find it. Go on then, get searching and let me know when you figure it out. 
That's the Del Caddy, right? Which is down this way. Oh. There's the boys. Oh, the Lynx is so adorable. Love them so much. That Del Caddy was just here. So this sure is a cute Pokemon. Oh, that's Del Caddy. It really is cute. Do you suppose it's going for a walk? Seems pretty used to humans. Do you think this one is uh, someone's partner? This fur around its necks like a fluffy scarf. Charming, isn't it? I could uh, keep petting it all day. Oh wait, doesn't that fit the characteristics the quiz professor described? Oh, you may be right. Let's go give her our answer. Okay. And then we've got one more to find after this. Can we go down over here? Oh, we can, by the police cars. Oh! Got a ferret and a hatena. hatena. Searching for serenity. So cute. Hmm, what's this Pokemon? Hatena just said his name. <laughs> Alright. Let's go and interact with the ferret. And then we'll go and find the, uh, we'll get the question for the last Pokemon. Squirming through for a visit. <laughs> Looks like a pretty nimble Pokemon. I like Furret. So, Detective, have you figured out the answer? All right. Yes, I have. It's Del Caddy, isn't it? Oh, correct. Was this one a little difficult? Not at all. Del Caddy eats, sleeps, and lives as it pleases, as its own pace. It's very proud of its fur and prefers to keep it clean, so it hates dirty places. If Pikachu were here, it probably would have gotten into, gotten into an argument about whose fur was glossier. Aren't they usually nocturnal too? Seems rare to find one during the day. Oh, I see you know a thing or two about Pokemon. How splendid! And now without further ado, on to the third and final question. What Pokemon can sense emotions via the protrusion on its head and prefer secluded places? Those are all the hints you get. The protrusion on its head, what could that be? Guess we just have to check some areas where there aren't a lot of people around. Alright detective, use those legs of yours and find the answer. So that's definitely the Hatena, right? No way it's not. Although, the place it's picked is kinda bad. Yeah, not only people right now, but... A police car just comes and runs it over? So what a quiet Pokemon. Do you know what it is, Rachel? Yes, this is Hatena. It almost never shows itself in front of humans. Well, it's pretty quiet back here in the parking lot. I suppose not a lot of people come here. This Pokemon only appears in front of people with calm hearts and minds. I'd say that describes you, Tim. Must have uh, popped out to see you. If you say so. Oh, wait. This Hatena might be the Pokemon the quiz professor was talking about. Now that you mention it, it could be. Let's go tell her. Okay, that's that side quest done. Then we go check out the Litten and the... Because Meowstic's evolution of Esper, I can't... Why can't I think of this name? So, Detective, have you figured out the answer to my final question? Right. Yes, I believe I have. The answer is Hatena, right? Oh, so you did get it. Well done and congratulations. You've probably noticed this already, but Hatena prefers areas without a lot of people. The emotions of others are constantly flown into its head. So run away if it detects strong feelings. You have to be very good at emotional regulation if you hope to have a Hatena as a partner. Sounds like a really sensitive Pokemon. I wonder if Hatena would have appeared there if I'd been there by myself. Hmm, maybe. But well, that's all for today's quiz. Excellent job getting every answer right. Thank you very much. Okay. So what have we got here? Oh, I can't interact with it. Yo. Excuse me. Hi there. Uh, do you mind if I ask you some questions? So what do you need? About oh, Pikachu. Excuse me. Did you happen to see a Pikachu two nights ago? The evening of the Slowpoke statue in Fountain Plaza was damaged? Oh right. There was a commotion at Fountain Plaza, wasn't there? I was here that whole evening, and I didn't see any Pikachu. So the culprit didn't come through the square either? About the detained Pokemon. Uh, have you witnessed any of the recent Pokemon detainments? Well, I heard that a Pokemon caused some trouble in front of the Hi Hat Cafe. I didn't see it for myself, so I don't know anything else about it. Glamau! That's what it's called, Glamau. I got it. <laughs> I love slow, lazy days when the weather's nice like this. 
Me too, but we haven't been able to uh, take things very slowly lately. Oh, what's the rush? Is something wrong? Excuse me. Did you happen to see a Pikachu two nights ago? The evening the Slowpoke statue in Fountain Plaza was damaged? I saw more Peko and Dedene, but no Pikachu. Hey Tim, do you think it's possible that the culprit was actually more Peko or Dedene? No, I unfortunately don't think so. Chief Butler said he had proof that Pikachu did it, but I believe it must have been a different Pikachu. So about the detained Pokemon? Have you witnessed any of the recent Pokemon detainments? None of any heard rumors. A Pokemon apparently stole someone's valuables, for example. Sounds like we all need to be careful. Better keep a firm grip on my belongings. Can we go down here? No. Okay. Anyone else? Doesn't seem anything else around here. So let's go to the flower shop. Because we know that woman's uh, Inteleon got detained. And there might be some more people around the plaza. Because the watchhog got taken, the greedent. <laughs> Love for links, man. Every time I see it, just, it just puts a big smile on my face. It's always fun when you see like one of your favorite Pokemon. Well, let's talk to you. How could this happen? Excuse me. Are you okay? Oh, sorry, I'm just so stressed out I started muttering to myself. Well, we're actually investigating the recent Pokemon incidents. Is there anything we can do to help? We'd love to try. Oh, that's too kind, thank you. So what's stressing you out? So what exactly happened? When I got to my shop this morning, I saw that someone had messed up my flowers. So the Pokemon Protection Bureau came and investigated. But how could they accuse my Inteleon? Wait, did they take your Inteleon away? Yes, but there's no way he'd do ever do such a thing. Uh, about Pikachu. Excuse me. Did you happen to see a Pikachu two nights ago? I'm sorry, I don't really remember. Okay. The team Pokemon. Can you tell us a bit about your Inteleon? Inteleon is my partner. He's been with me forever, since we were both small. He loves flowers, and uh, he always waters them so gently for me. I can't even imagine such a sweet Pokemon doing anything bad. But for some reason, the PBB is convinced that Inteleon ruined the flowers. Yeah, I doubt it. Wow, that's awful. Did anyone actually see Inteleon messing with the flowers? No, not a single eyewitness. But the PBB claims to have proof from some surveillance camera footage. Do you mind if we investigate the scene? We might learn something. Of course, I don't mind. It happened right in my flower shop's display. Hey. Alright, so just here. So this must be the flower display the police claim Inteleon ruined. All right. Okay, let's see what we can see. It's like a slice. Surely Inteleon can do that. There's a cut in the wall. Looks like it was done by a sharp blade. Don't think it's pointy out again, do you? <laughs> a blade, huh? You know, Inteleon's uh, tail is kind of knife-like. But my Inteleon has never once used his tail like that. All right. So it looks like we've checked everything of note here. Okay. Uh, hi. Oh dear, oh dear. What did they run off to? Excuse me. Is something wrong? Wait, aren't you that detective I read about in the newspaper? What luck? Could you please help me search for a Glossifleur? Glossifleur? That's a grass-type Pokemon with a pretty singing voice, right? Should have known a detective uh, would really know his stuff. I'm part of a choir that sings with Glossifleur, but some of the Glossifleur went off to play and haven't come back. We need to leave the city as soon to be on our time for our next performance. In that case, I'll gladly help. Thank you, detective. If you find the Glossifleur, please ring this bell. It's a signal we use to regroup, so Glossifleur should understand that it's time to go. There are two Glossifleur in total that have gone separate from us. Two of them. Got it. Let you know if I see them. Okay. Let's be on the lookout. Hmm, I can't believe this is happening. Excuse me. Is something wrong? Have Have you ever had your dearest friend taken away from you? That sounds heartbreaking. I know, right? That's exactly what happened to me today. That's terrible. Do you want to talk about it? Yeah, thanks. I think talking through it might help me feel a little better. So about the sad experience. So tell me, what happened? Some people from the PBB just suddenly showed up today. They ran off a whole lot of accusations and then told me they were taking away my Morpeko. I tried to stop them, but they said they had proof from the law is the law. Morpeko looked so sad and defeated as the police took him away. How awful. Yeah, it really was. So about Pikachu. Excuse me. Did you happen to see a Pikachu two nights ago? The evening the Slowpoke statue in Fontaine Plaza was damaged? No, I didn't. I was home at that home that night. I see. Oh, excuse me. Didn't mean to say that again. All right. So about the detained Pokemon. 
Can you tell us a bit about uh, your Morpeko? Morpeko is my partner. He's just a cheerful little guy with a big appetite. I assume that's why the PPP suspected him? So what do you mean? Apparently a Pokemon was causing trouble last night. They said a Pokemon stole someone's food right in front of this very cafe. So Morpeko had uh, nothing to do with it, but the PPP wouldn't listen. So that's what happened. When Morpeko's hungry, he does get cranky, and his fur even changes colour. But he's never stolen food before, not even once. Couldn't even imagine that little guy causing trouble for anyone. You don't say. I'll try looking around the scene here. Okay. Yeah, let's see if there's any evidence. Okay, so we better investigate carefully. Okay, let's see what we can see. There you go. Well, let me investigate it for a second. And then we've got the, like, charred mark. Mm -hmm. So the ground and wall looks scorched. According to the PBB, Morpeko went berserk and used his aura wheel. Alright, scorched from an electric move. Aura wheel changes type based on how Morpeko is feeling, right? Yep, when Morpeko is uh, in hangry mode, it's a dark type move. When Morpeko is in full belly mode, an electric type move. If Morpeko's aura wheel were electric type, that could have caused these scorch marks. But that would mean Morpeko stole someone's food even though it had a full belly. Yeah, you're right. What's going on here? All right. So it looks like we've checked everything of note here. Right. Mm -hmm. Oh, wait. Isn't that the guy who... Tim, why imagine us running into each other again? Here of all places. You're that guy who suddenly plucked some of Pikachu's fur. Yes, I'm Charles Murlock, scientist and policy mastermind of Rhyme City. Where's your partner, Pikachu? Don't tell me you two had a falling out. No, nothing like that. I know you. You're the one who keeps meeting with my dad. Well, well, the mayor's daughter. You know, Rhyme City has become rather dangerous lately. I know how much Howard worries about you. I suggest you head home soon. And I suggest you mind your business. Oof. Uh -huh. Damn, you got a lot of explaining to do. What sort of ideas are you putting into Papa's head? And all these Pokemon management measures, are they your doing as well? Oh my, oh dear. Seems I've caught you in a bad mood. Perhaps we should speak some other time. If you'll excuse me, until next time. Definitely evil. Uh -huh. Ugh. He left without answering a single question. He may have uh, started off a bit too strong. Let's think. Okay, so we can start to do some, but I need to find these Gossifleur. Right, so. Oh, there's one. So is this one the Gossifleur from the choir? I'll try ringing the bell they lent me. Right. Sweet. Must have been part of the choir. Looks like it's heading back to, back to them now. Nice. And we've got an Apom. Masterful Tail Dexterity. Hey there, Apom. Better not be planning any pranks to play in the city, okay? Imagine living in a city with a uh, Impidimp and Napom. All them pranks, that'd be annoying, but oh, there's a, uh, uh, not Wormadam, Burmy. Eco Fashion Enthusiast. Oh, brr. Oh, a Burmy. That really startled me. I swear, you can find Burmy in the trees of just about any park in the city. Okay. So let's go down to 2nd Avenue. I want to find this other Gossifleur before we deduce. Alright, I feel like it's got to be by the uh, Glamour and Lytton. Hmm. Yeah, I can't go that way. Are you around here, Gossifleur? I feel like you gotta be, no. Hmm. Around this way. I feel like I remember seeing one as soon as we left the police station. So I do wanna just check over there real quick. Just gonna check down here just in case like one pops up. You never know, it might just wandered off down here and thought. Hey, this looks like a good place to chill. Yeah, nothing there. So I'm like... 80% sure. Let's be down here. Oh, 
I will say this game's got a banging soundtrack. I thought the last game had good songs as well. Uh, there it is. Oh, there's a pig knight as well. There's a god to flow here. Must be part of that choir. Hmm, it's going to ring this bell, right? All right. Good, looks like it's heading back to join the choir. All right. So I rang the bell for both Gossifleur, I guess that means I'm done looking for them. Hope they're all reunited, I should go check on them. Hope you'll come see us sing the next time we're in the city. Another side quest done. Nice, so let's start deducing. So begin deducing. Oh, I'm going to sneeze. Mm -hmm. <laughs> So let us use uh, the information we've gathered to figure out what's going on with these Pokemon. So, do those Pokemon uh, want people's belongings? Were those Pokemon upset about something? Are the Pokemon hungry? Are innocent Pokemon being detained? Innocent Pokemon being detained. Okay. So none of the evidence left at the crime scene seemed like things those Pokemon would likely leave behind. That's true. Are their partners and their partners were in shock because the Pokemon were accused of doing something completely out of character? Just like when Pikachu was arrested. The same thing keeps happening. There's photographic evidence for every crime though. As strange as this all seems, it'll be difficult to convince the PBB that something's off. Every crime has photo evidence. The Pokemon are behaving out of character. What if those Pokemon are being framed? What makes you say that? Oh, uh, sorry, I guess that's a pretty big claim. I can't say for sure. Still, a lot of things at the crime scenes just don't add up. I don't think we can rule it out just yet. If uh, that is what's happening, I sure hope we can do something to help those Pokemon. Okay, nice. So, what is the Pokemon Protection Bureau doing? Let's say for the moment that the PBB and the police are framing innocent Pokemon. If that's the case, what are they trying to accomplish? Hmm, are they just detaining Pokemon without doing thorough investigations? Or is there more to it than that? I couldn't say why, but maybe detaining Pokemon isn't a means to an end. Maybe it's their actual goal. You mean the PBB and the police are just out there trying to pump out, pump up their numbers? Do you really have that little respect for Pokemon? Whoa, Rachel, wait a sec. Need to investigate a bit more before we uh, draw any conclusions. Things aren't quite adding up just yet. You're right, sorry. I got a, a little heated just now. It's okay, let's start asking people in the city about the recent detainments. Sounds good. All right, so the people who should know the most about the Pokemon detainments are the Pokemon Protection Bureau and the police. But Inspector Holiday uh, didn't know much of anything. Maybe we should ask some other police officers. Good idea, let's do that. Okay. So, I want to go speak to the Pig Knight over here. Oh, we've got another side quest. Fueled by delicious berries. <laughs> Oh dear. Just give it a try, Pig Knight, please. Excuse me. Is there something I can help you with? Actually, there is. We're about to go camping. Pig Knight here is supposed to help light our campfire. But Pig Knight's already so hungry, he won't even budge. Oh, poor thing. I meant to bring along some of his favorite berries, but I guess I totally spaced out and forgot. I just can't leave Pig Knight here while I run home to get some. Hey, Tim, can we go gather up some berries for these two? I'd like to, but do you think we can even find berries in the city that Pig Knight likes? The city is full of Pokemon. And where there are Pokemon, there are bound to be berries. But the berries in the most obvious places have probably already been eaten. And I guess we'll have to check each tree, one by one. Okay, if we find any berries, we'll bring them back here. That'd be a huge help, thank you so much. Okay, gotta find some berries. But let's talk to you first. So incidents have been on the rise lately, take care of yourself out there. Excuse me. Alright, let's ask some questions. Is something wrong? We're actually looking for the people who've been handling Pokemon detainment. That's not one of my assignments. My duties uh, keep me here at the station. Then how can we get in touch with someone who has been assigned to Pokemon detainment? Why don't you try asking the two officers in the parking lot out back? Okay. Good to know. And I can also check the trees around here as well if there are any trees. Hey oh. So we've had so many Pokemon Attainment assignments lately, it's pretty shocking how much they've spiked. Excuse me. Actually, that's exactly what I'd like to ask you about. Hmm, fancy that. So is Pokemon Attainment one of your assigned duties? Yes, it is. Recently, it feels like detaining Pokemon is all I do. Frankly, that's supposed to be the PBB's responsibility. But they're such a new organization, they don't have enough personnel, even police officers like me, to pick up their slack. That sounds really tough. 
I'm sure your department already has enough on their plate. Well, I wouldn't say that. The official story is that the PBB was formed to assist the police, keep us from spreading ourselves too thin, that sort of thing. But between you and me, Rhyme City's never given us more police work than we can handle. Interesting. So I think the PBB was established as part of the mayor's vision, vision for the city. But as this goes without saying, working with people and Pokemon are two different ball games. Yeah, people have their individual quirks, but at least we're all one species. Pokemon, on the other hand, exactly. There's an infinite number of variable, variables that we need to be able to respond to in any given situation. Sometimes it all feels way above my pay grade. But the direction the mayor and the PBB are taking things, there's not much I can do. So if danger rears its head, you can uh, trust the Rhyme City Police to protect, protect and serve. Okay, questions for me? I'm happy to answer anything I can. So is Pokemon Attainment one of your assignments? Yes, it sure is. And we'll be an extra vigilant for the remainder of Pokemon Friendship Week. Mayor Myers has been promoting it a lot lately. Yes, he has. Pokemon Friendship Week was created in response to the R incident two years ago. Okay. So it represents our ideals of peaceful coexistence with Pokemon. As officers of the law, we work hard to protect that peace. Oh, I see. The police are lucky to have an officer like you. If anything happens, it will be there in no time, so you can put your mind at ease. Thanks to the state-of-the-art surveillance cameras we've begun using, not a single incident slips by unrecorded. Are the cameras really all that special? They are. Our cameras have captured the incriminating moment in every recent incident. Oh, okay. Really? Every last one? Are you sure that isn't just a coincidence? I'm sure those cameras are amazing. That sounds too good to be true. We don't have a lot of surveillance cameras at our disposal, but the few we use are extremely effective. Let's think. Okay, so before we start deducing, let's see if we can check some trees, and that tree doesn't count, I guess. Or that one. Any tree around here? Just need some berries. Well, I guess I kind of tried with the trees here. So let's go to the plaza. Actually, I'll do some to do some first, and then we'll go to the other trees. Mm -hmm. So let's think about whether there's anything strange about the PBB's activity. So the PBB is staging incidents. Uh, the PBB is overzealously detaining Pokemon to prevent future R incidents. The PBB is too busy in rushing their investigations. Uh... Okay. So Mopeko, Imidim, Inteleon, and Pikachu. A lot of the Pokemon have been detained in different places, yet somehow the few surveillance cameras in the city managed to film each one of them. Seems too, too good to be true. Not to mention the surveillance cameras caught the exact moment each crime was committed. Right, seems a bit too convenient. Maybe the PVB staged the crimes and filmed them? That's definitely a possibility. Okay. All this time I've just assumed there was another Pikachu, but now I'm having second thoughts. What do you mean? So many Pokemon have caused incidents and been detained in such a short time. It seems that the incriminating detail for every one of these incidents has been captured on camera. Rather than finding a double for each of every one of these Pokemon, it'd be much easier for them just to use one Pokemon capable of passing as any one of the others. They had a Pokemon that could do that. Yeah, if they had a Pokemon like that, it could explain how so many of these incidents occurred in such a short time. So what should we be looking for is... A Pokemon that can look like other Pokemon. Right, let's ask around more. So even if the Pokemon Protection Bureau staged the incidents, the actual crimes had to be committed by a Pokemon. All the partners of the detained Pokemon said the same thing. They're convinced that their Pokemon would never commit the crimes they've been accused of. I can really only think of one possible explanation. A different Pokemon than the one that we've detained committed all the crimes. We've got to find a Pokemon that can make itself look like other Pokemon. Yeah, let's go ask some folks in the city. Okay. So, do you know anything? Uh, a Pokemon that can look like others. Excuse me. Yeah, I once met an old lady who had a ditto for her partner. Pretty sure she even lived here on 2nd Avenue, if memory serves. Really? Thanks very much. Let's keep asking around. That's kind of perfect. A ditto with an old lady. Just gotta find the old lady. I was literally like the perfect person to speak to. <laughs> Alright, let's go to Fountain Plaza. I'm guessing maybe the tree with the Burmy in it has some berries? 
All right. Oh. Oh. So Pignite would probably like these ones. Let's hurry and get them to Pignite's partner. Oh, detective, did you find some berries? Mm -hmm. Yes, they were grown on a tree in Fountain Plaza. Oh yes, they look perfect for Pignite. You're right, it looks very happy. Now you can go camping, right? Yes, thank you both so much. Nice easy quest to get done. Alright, let's continue though, speaking to some people. Any info for us? Excuse me. Can you think of any Pokemon able to make itself look like a different one? I know some Pokemon that look like flowers or trees or what have you. So that's what you mean? No, I mean the Pokemon responsible for this may have passed itself on as an Atelion. Oh dear. I've heard that somewhere in the city is a Pokemon that knows the move Transform. I don't know any of any more details than that. Just that detail is very helpful, thank you. Whatever this Pokemon is, it's somewhere in the city. Let's try to find it, Tim. We know it's in 2nd Avenue, man. Yo. Right. Excuse me. Can you think of any Pokemon able to make itself look like a different one? Huh? I don't understand the question. We think a different Pokemon may have passed itself as, off as Morpeko. Oh, if that's true, that'd mean Morpeko is innocent. But well, I can't think of any Pokemon like that. Could you keep asking around? Maybe someone else will know. Okay. Uh. Oh. Hey, yo. Oh no, what do I do? It's with the end of us. Excuse me. So what's wrong? Looks like something pretty serious. Please, you've got to help me. Just calm down, what exactly happened? Well, you see, I accidentally dropped my wedding ring. Oh no, that really is serious. I think it rolled uh, into the gap between this building, but it's so narrow, I can't reach down there. I can't show my face at home if I don't get it back. Uh, we can't fit in a gap that narrow either, but maybe a small Pokemon could. Good thinking. A long, slender Pokemon may just be what we need. Let's look around and see if we can find one that's willing to help. Please do. Uh, I'm done for if I don't find that ring. A long, slender Pokemon. Maybe like your arm? Uh, maybe not. A pom? Maybe it's hand? Hmm. I do like the game stops you from going like to different places so you don't get like too overwhelmed like the whole big area. I mean, it would be nice to explore wherever you want to go, but it is kind of nice that it's just. You know, this is the area you need to be exploring. A long... Thurrit! Thurrit could probably help? It's gotta be Thurrit. You! Oh look, a Thurrit! Do you think this Pokemon would fit inside that gap? Oh, to get that guy's wedding ring. Yeah, Thurrit would be a perfect for the job. Let's ask it. Hey Thurrit, someone lost something important to him. We could really use your help getting him out of this pinch. Hmm, I don't think it understands. Please, he's in a lot of trouble. We seriously need your help. Did it understand? Even if it didn't understand your words, your feelings came out loud and clear. I hope so. The person who needs help is over in Fountain Plaza. Can you help him for it? Okay. I really like this game, really like emphasizes the fact that, you know, Pokemon can't understand you, but they can feel, feel you, because that's like how it is usually, isn't it? Like they feel what your feelings and stuff. But hi there, this Thorrit just uh, showed up out of nowhere and heroically retrieved my ring for me. You called, called it for me, right? Thank you so much, you really saved my neck. Mm -hmm. No, don't thank us, thank Thorrit. Well done, Thorrit, really, thank you from me and Tim as well. Aw, oh, please be careful not to drop anything that important from now on, okay? Ha, <laughs> I'll do what I can. I can't uh, help just staring at my ring, it reminds me of how happy my marriage is. Oh, it's really nice. You sound really like a lovely couple. I have to say though, I'm pretty surprised that Thorrit was able to uh, tell what we wanted. I experienced that a lot when I was a kid actually. Hm, maybe it's a trait passed down from Mama. Even when we can't communicate with words, we can still understand each other's feelings. That's so nice. Okay, another quest done. So we still need to talk to someone. So we know 2nd Avenue. Okay, so you watch Maractus' move and see if you can copy them. Okay, she doesn't know anything, so let's, I guess, go and speak to the people on 2nd Avenue, like the two ladies by the Litten and Glamau. I think that's probably who we got to speak to next. Because we know there's an old lady with a ditto somewhere in 2nd Avenue. 
I'm not assuming she's gonna live down here. All right. Let's go and speak. Oh, oh, Ditto, dear. Hmm? Did you hear someone calling for something? Ditto. Oh, where can it be? Oh, I bet that's Ditto's partner. I think the voice is coming from back here. Let's go check. You? It's gotta be you. Excuse me. Hello there. Do you mind if I ask you some questions? Sure. Go right ahead. I've been so lonely. It's nice to have a distraction. What's troubling you? What's wrong? Well, you see, my dear Ditto went missing a while ago. So that was your voice we just heard now. Yes, I've been looking for it everywhere, but I just can't find it. I'm worried sick. Hope it shows up again soon. Thanks for trying to cheer me up. I really do miss my Ditto. Ditto loves to play by using Transform. It turns into all sorts of things. But my little one isn't actually very good at using Transform. It can only imitate what it sees with its own eyes. Oh. So sometimes it gets the shape a bit wrong. That just uh, makes it even cuter. <laughs> that poor woman. She said Ditto's been missing for a little while now, right? I know it fits the profile for what we've been searching for, but could it really have gotten tangled up in all these, these incidents? It's possible, yeah. Is there really any way to be sure? Yes, I can ask Pikachu. Ask Pikachu? Oh, uh, yeah, it's about time for my visit with him. So I'll discuss, I mean, uh, talk with, y you know, let's just go see how he's doing. Are you sure I, c I can join on this visit, even though I'm not his partner? Yeah, it should be fine. Come on, let's go. All right, let's go and visit Pikachu. But you know what? I think it's probably a great place to end this part off. Because then we can go speak to Pikachu and then he can show us the uh, the picture. And I'm guessing if we look at the picture, Pikachu's shape might be a little bit different. Or maybe uh, some more info will come out come to light. But yeah, I'll catch you guys next time when we'll head inside the police station. And uh, go and see Pikachu. So see you guys in a bit.